Alright, I think everything's going now. <clears throat> Welcome back to the Book of Box live stream. Uh, making up for yesterday's stream. It is uh, May 11th. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Just kind of doing my normal startups of everything. So I can get things going. Everything's looking pretty good right now, so it is a uh, small project night, even though it's Tuesday instead of Monday, or medium project night, yeah. Uh, I've been working on jelly cubes. This is the second one of the Chief's jelly cubes I did in the square rings that I do like. I like the look of it better. It's a little less floppy, but the feel, I mean, I still do like the feel of it. Uh, but it definitely does feel different than this is a 5x5 five five out of square this is a 5x5 five five out of the proper size uh, bright aluminum that I do like the feel of I've got a ring on the bottom to designate my bottom whenever I was making it where I started from but you know overall it doesn't have too much of a difference other than the size uh, I do like it and this is the one we're gonna keep growing this is a 3x3 three three, uh, jelly cube kind of small really don't see a lot in it I mean it still jiggles around good though so oh, excuse me I like it this is a color one I did I had another one that I was working on but both the colors that I was working with had came from uh, different manufacturers uh, for my supplies and the other one said they were 18 gauge, 1 8 inch rings, but the wire diameter on them was 1.1 uh, instead of 1.2 millimeters. And it was just, it caused it to be way too floppy. I just, I didn't like it. Uh, it's over on the other side of the bench here. I should, you know. Uh, where, where did I put it? It might be in the box. Because I'm going to pull it apart. I just didn't care for it. This one, same size, same amount of rings. It's a little bit smaller and a little more floppy. Uh, I still like it. It's still, it's still got a good flop to it. Uh, but I did notice one thing whenever I was doing it. I was like, why does it seem more floppy than the the proper one these are rings I made and there when I uh, put the old uh, caliper on it and measured it I got uh, 0.125 right on the nose for 1 8 rings 1 1 8 inch rings when I did these they're the proper thickness but my inner diameter is 1 or 0 0.132 0 0.131 was my average so they were not quite 1 8 inch which is a little upsetting because that's what they say that they're one point uh, eighth inch rings and stuff but they're not quite they're a little larger so I get a little more flop to it than I do out of my bright silver that are the proper size so and I and that's what I did I took one of each ring and I, I measured my thing there same thickness uh, and everything but my rings are exactly one eighth inch and these were just slightly over so it kind of throws off the skew a little bit um, I'm gonna do another one I'm gonna mix some colors because I've got this is orchid I believe from main supplier it's a little off I don't want to name all the suppliers that you know were different that didn't work quite right because you know some that kind of happens when you go through different people but they look good in the same size, but they're just a little bit off, so it throws things off. <clears throat> so, I'm going to do a mix of probably the orchid and the silver. Uh, I don't know exactly how I'm going to mix it up yet, if I'm going to do layers or try to put diagonals in them or something. You know, I'm going to try something a little different with it, with it during the week. I'm probably going to do another one of these. I mean, it'll be the third square one, uh, but out of some different colors. Uh, I just like the first one I did. It's actually upstairs on my dresser right now. Uh, 
when I did the second one because I just wanted to have a pair of them. I might do another one to take two events, uh, but I think I'm going to keep the first two for myself. Uh, just because it'll actually be the third project I've ever made for myself through all these years. Uh, and then we're going to kind of play with that, but on medium project night for this week and probably next, I'm just going to enlarge this one. And uh, over time, I'm going to just keep going bigger with it. Uh, and then, like I said, out of the square rings, I'm going to do some different colors. I might put... Uh, make it a variety. I kind of thought about doing like, I know it's not fall, but I like the fall color mixes. I might just try to do a mix and just jibber jabber uh, different colors into it. So we'll kind of see how that goes. Uh, just checking everything. I think everything's still going smoothly. So, uh, so we'll just kind of move these on up out of the way and I'll bring back and show pictures once I do them. Uh, but like I said, we're just going to kind of continue working on this one. I've got, uh, oh, probably just under seven ounces left, if not seven ounces. I'm not sure how much this weighs. I didn't even weigh it. Uh, I made up almost eight ounces of the one-eighth inch rings, so I'm just going to start pulling out some and kind of getting together on it. I want to thank everybody who's joining us live now or watching us later. Uh, Thanks for joining us and seeing what's going on. You can post comments during the live stream or even later if you're watching later. I'm, I'll go back. I'll catch those and everything. So we're just going to kind of continue on this. Now let me uh, take off my hat so I can get in a little closer here and not cause problems again. Hopefully my hat hair, hair doesn't show up. But yeah, I'd like to, if you follow us normally and uh, everything and we weren't here yesterday I want to apologize for that I'd planned on it but we had uh, one of our cats was not feeling well and ended up going to the vet and it was not a good day let's just say that uh, the uh, vet suggested that we put him down because he was sick that we could spend another couple thousand and get another week or two out of him and uh, it was a little frustrating so but that was the boomer if you're part of my personal page you probably see me post there about him but he, he was my outdoor buddy he, he, he was an outdoor cat for the most part he come in most every night uh, winter time he'd come in but it was nice out he would rather kind of hang outside and uh, do his thing out there and whenever I was out there he'd follow me around and he was like a little dog almost I mean he would just act like a dog when I was outside doing stuff he just followed me around wanted to see what everything I was doing and he was my outside buddy he was uh, I was trying to figure it up last night. I think he was about 11 years old, 10 or 11 years old. So, not the oldest cat we have by far, but he he was my downstairs outside buddy for sure. He'll be missed. So that's why I wasn't here last night. I just I couldn't bring myself to doing the stream last night. Uh, I was just afraid that you know so much going on and everything I didn't want to try to put it on because it was just about an hour and a half before I was supposed to start the stream that I found out everything and so had to deal with all that just trying to see I haven't never tried to do an expanding on well I guess I did on the, the three uh, So we'll see how it goes on expanding out. It might take me a minute to kind of get the basic feel of it and idea on what I need to do to do the expanding. Because I only have to do it on three sides. So. We'll see how it works and see if I need to make any adjustments as we go. 
Once I do it a couple times, though, I'll, you know, like I said, yeah, I've been working on these for about three weeks now. I'm kind of getting more used to them as time goes on, but it's something I haven't done before, so. Let me check and make sure my you know, streams are going. Comments look like they're open and going, so. I'll do a few more, a few more weeks of it, uh, of doing the jelly cubes, and then we're going to go ahead and move on to a, a new medium night project. I'm not sure what yet. Uh, where'd my other ring go? Oh, there it is. That's my bottom. I had it turned around sideways again. Oh, let's see here. That one's going sideways. That one goes across. That one needs to go there and we can come through on this one. Alright. Probably go under, yeah. To even it out. Still debating on what I want to do for tomorrow night. Uh, I've got several that I want to do, but I also got some rings that I want to use. So I'm going to start probably later tonight or maybe tomorrow afternoon looking for a ring size specific weave that I haven't done so I can uh, do a, do that for tomorrow. Uh, like I said, still not sure what I want to do yet, but things have been a little crazy, you know, with uh, last week finishing up DVDs and then with rumors issues and so it's it's been a little crazy long that we can say that. Okay, I need this to uh, let's see here. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, did I put that one on backwards maybe? Because that one goes that way. Yeah, I might have. Let me look at that a little closer here. Like I said, till I get used to how these will fit on doing expanding in a block. Oh, come on. Oh, that's right, right there. That one. Stands up. No, maybe it is wrong. Yeah, I think I connected them. Connected them wrong. Let me re put this one back in and double check it. And like I said, once I do it a few times, I'll get it figured out and I can figure out where my opening is. Hopefully, I'm still in screenshot. Things are going a little slower tonight, and if I'm talking a little, eh. You get the idea of why, etc. Uh, give me a few days to kind of uh, get things kind of going back to normal. I don't know how long we'll run tonight. I'm for sure doing at least an hour. I don't know if I'll go much over that so I can kind of get some other things going. If I, uh, let's see here, if that one comes out, it needs to come over here, that's basically right, and that's basically right, I just need to connect those two, yeah, I think I did have that one backwards now that I'm looking at it with them apart, so, you had that one ring in there twisted. Well, like I said, I hope everybody's having a good Tuesday. Uh, not sure if I've got anybody following right now or not, but if you are, thanks again. Uh, that way would be the flat way. So, um, I don't have this thing open far enough, I can already tell. <laughs> Uh, just being one of those one of those weeks I guess hopefully things will improve by the end of the week and 
Get some other stuff going. Now I know uh, my Thursday night long project night. Uh, my next supply is in shipping. So uh, I don't know if I'll get it by Thursday to start on the next big inlay or not. Uh, I'm kind of working on another inlay setup that I might want to do. Uh, it'll be smaller than the current plan project. Uh, we'll see how that goes. and We might change over to it, I don't know. I'm, you know, I'm trying to work up an inlay of Boomer. I haven't done an animal before. Well, I haven't done a person either, so... We'll see how things go. And if I decide to switch over to it or not, I need to see what it's going to consist of. and Everything like that, but... If we don't start it this Thursday, we will definitely be starting it next Thursday on something other than the jar. I'm probably going to move the jar over to... Oh, the jar cover and over to medium project night, because it was kind of a medium project anyway. It's nothing that was super huge. It was... I was just wanting to get something going, and I think uh, I'll move it over onto Monday nights till we finish it up. And though it won't take too much longer, I mean, there's it's a basic weave, so it's not super inter intricate or anything like that. So we'll just kind of keep going and see how things work out. And I got several other things I want to do too. Who knows when I might pull them out and start going on them. Uh, I got a nice variety of purples now, so I've been kind of considering uh, let's see if I do that then those got to connect to there. But that needs to kind of that needs to come out flat. Just making, just trying to get it in my head where rings are needing to go here. <laughs> it's going to go down. So I probably want to go ahead and I'm going to do this side, this side, and that side. So I'll go ahead and work down this row here for that part. Connect to those, and it'll give me, yeah. I was going to do some expanding on it before I started the stream, but, uh, you know, like I said, last couple days I really wanted to do. The weekend I was kind of trying to take a break a little bit, uh, just because everything I've been doing the last couple months has just been crazy. With, orders and larger inlays and DVDs. I need to kind of chill for a couple days and then you know, the boomer thing happened so hopefully hopefully things will start smoothing out now. I didn't open it for enough again. I said that is always my problem. But I guess it's better not to not to open far enough than open them too far where you start distorting the ring. Uh, quick check, see if we're getting messages anywhere. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I still need to do a test on uh, the uh, do a test stream so I can figure out more settings within this new thing whenever I'm going to watch, and so I can get it kind of ironed a little bit better. So if that's that round one. That one's there, and those two gotta connect. So, hopefully, it'll go together without having to pull it apart too much. That's our hope, anyway. But once I do one, it normally sticks with me. On occasion, I might have to have a little quick refresher course, but most of the time it's no big issue. I can uh, 
remember it most times. If, it, it's a, if it's an odd style one or something, I will write it down. And I'll probably still write quick notes about this down in my book. Uh, like I say, everything I build, even if it's kind of the same thing but different sized rings or whatnot, I'll write down things in my notebook. I've got several of them through the years now. Uh, for quick reminders or ring counts and times and all that. Just so if I ever need to go back to something. And I do like, you know, if I don't do a weave in a while. Uh, I like to give it a, a time again and compare it to past times to make sure ring counts are still good on time for, per ring and everything. Because, I mean, through the years, I did, I, I will speed up on some. I uh, haven't really ever slowed down, really. Uh, most times I stay within my projected times. But sometimes I'll learn a little different way of weaving a certain thing. And so, uh, it'll change over time. Alright. That's done. That outer row's done. And then I'll make that one wider, that one wider. Because uh, I'm doing the top, this side, and that side. So, that goes there. That's there. Well, those need to connect to that then. I'm thinking, yeah, so. At least that's where we're going to go and see what happens because I need to make sure everything's got going, four going through each one. And right now, that one's only got three. So if it comes down, and that'll make it four. So, uh, I probably screwed that ring all up. Yeah. I haven't slipped on any rings in a while. That was a little weird, but it happens from time to time. Definitely have to watch a little more when you're doing colored rings because you can easily scratch them up. That was probably an okay still ring, but I'd rather just take it out and not have to worry about looking it over and seeing if I did have a little mess up somewhere on it. All right, ring. There we go. Right. That's the correct one, isn't it? No. What am I doing? It needs to be the second one. Not that one. There we go. That gives me my... Yeah. And like I said, once this gets going bigger and bigger, I'll get better and better. As like everything. Do the fill in of it. Once we get a little further here. I was joking with the daughter the other night. It's like, yeah. Eventually I'll just keep it growing until I can make a chair out of it and I'll have a jelly chair. That would be oh god awful amount of rings to build a chair you could sit in i don't know if it'd be comfy though who knows you never know all right the mountain comes out that one all right now i'm gonna take a quicker closer look here need to connect to those to make it four. Yeah. Gotten pretty comfortable with just doing a normal way, the normal five by five, but being we're gonna add in a little bit here. I am double checking some stuff, so hopefully it'll give me less issues. We'll see once I really start going over it and getting further into it and start noticing anything weird before we get too far along in expanding. I think that's right. We're hoping it's right anyway. We'll soon find out, I guess. Is that one? No. See, yeah, there's something right here. 
I think it's that one goes through there. That one comes down. That one should go through there. Because it doesn't have. Alright, let's continue down this line real quick first and then we'll. Oh, I already had that one open. Then I'll give it another look, see, and. I think it's a little easier to make your plan size base and work up from that, but, uh, you know, things can change while you're going through with it. Uh, this will give me a better idea if I'd ever decide to make one, and maybe I can work it up in levels a little differently. Once I do this, I'll figure more out and all that, so. That's my base. Uh, yeah, I'm doing something wrong there. Yeah, that should be right, though. I'll bring up that one, so... do that, that should give me my other area to start doing the flats. Some of the talk I'm doing is just in my head. And I have weird names and things I call certain things to remind me. It's kind of like when I do a jigsaw puzzle. It drives the family nuts because I'm always calling pieces that have a picture in it and I'll call it a an odd name just so I can remember <laughs> uh, just the shape of it or the colorization so I can look for where it'll fit in so I always give things weird names sometimes I'll come up through just helps me remember and can find it better at least when it comes to jigsaw puzzles but yeah so then we'll just kind of work across here so again, thanks anybody that's uh, here. I think we're about 30 minutes in, so I just want to say hey and welcome again and stuff. Try to do that a little more often. Hope everybody again had a good weekend. And again, sorry for not having last night's stream. We're postponing it till tonight. Just keep expanding this little baby and see how far we can go. And I'll more than likely end up making some more rings just to continue it. Oh, you know. Might be something I work on at events too. and you know, Just to have something to work on. Unless I have another project to, that I might be working on. Because I do have the chessboard I want to do still. Uh, I think I've got everything I need for it too. And I thought about doing it uh, for my large project night. Uh, yeah, see it's right there where I was on that other row but I was like it's not much of an inlay I mean it, it, it is an inlay doing a, a checkerboard uh, but nothing really much to it per se so I'm like huh, I don't know if I want to necessarily do that on for the large project night but at least for now uh, might end up doing it. Building the mine balance, yeah. Don't have much of a mine balance right now, that's for sure. Oh, come on, get through there. But I'll work on it too, so it might show up from an occasion. Uh, it's going to be European 6 and 1 for the chessboard, or checker, yeah, chessboard. I got some heavy duty weighted chess pieces I want to use with it. And okay, 
So now we're here at this corner again. Yeah, I'm going to pull these out real quick because I know I did something wrong right there. I'm trying to expand it. Let's just pull out that one. And this one should have one to connect to, but it doesn't. So that's where I'm kind of pondering here. Uh, where I did my screw up. But hello, David or John. I don't know why I was saying David. Sorry about that. Like I said, my mind's still not quite all here since yesterday. But I didn't want to postpone it again another night and then be into a different project night and everything like that. So I was like, well, all right, and then we'll go through those. So I did want to get in tonight and. We need to go through that one, that one, and then that one. There we go. But hopefully the brain will be back here by next week. For the most part, anyway. As much as my mind is ever there, we'll say that much, right? Yeah. And then we can go through there oh. but now that I have got this shown and working on the uh, tonight we'll probably uh, I'll probably work on it more off camera too uh, just so you kind of see a bigger difference when we come back to it and, not keeping a track on this one on time or anything. I'm just going to build and build and build. I figured that's what this, this is going to be. It'll probably be, again, one of my pieces that I'll keep just for show, especially the larger it gets. It's kind of like my Chanians. I've actually got some uh, large uh, centers that I have for... Is the problem there? Okay. Uh, to make giant chainions. I still need to get my colors for them. Uh, haven't decided on what ring size I want to make them out of yet. I could go small, but it will take forever, obviously. Uh, but I don't necessarily mind that, too. It's just, you know, I want to have some bigger, crazy things at the event table. Always brings people in when they see something weird and crazy. I take the uh, big two foot one around people get a kick out of it because it's big two foot round weaved with uh, I don't know I think I got 14 16 different ring sizes in it and uh, but everybody gets a kick out of it because it's so large I haven't taken the last two events though I don't remember why I didn't take it to the one before this last one. I know there was some reason why I didn't, but I can't remember what it is now. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking about with this 3x3. Three three. It's so light out of aluminum. I was like, it could be an earring if you got somebody that, that wants something kind of diamond shaped. I guess maybe from the other camera you can see it more diamond shaped. Uh. I don't know yet what I want to do. I was just like, well, I want to make one in three and five and get pictures. And then this one I'll probably stop and get pictures whenever I get it to seven by seven just to have comparisons. And just, you know, every every two. Dang it, I did it again, man. I just cannot get a hold of anything tonight with my pliers. Brain's still in other places. That's all I can say. I'm glad I'm not working on a customer's order right now. I might have had to put that off for a couple days. I mean, I guess this, well, this one won't be a customer's. The others might, but... 
And I figured it up. My five by fives take me just about three hours to completely make up. So I got that. I know my ring counts now for a five by five. Probably won't. I mean, I'm gonna do a few more, but I'm not gonna do a ton because I don't think they'll sell. I think people will like them, but they're probably not gonna be big sellers. I didn't think they would be anyway, but I wanted to have something different, and you know. I've been wanting to do them for a while, so, and most things I do, I end up doing four or five or six or twelve, depending. I think when I started doing my crosses, I made up one of every solid color, and then I had one of every color with silver stripes. I made up quite a few of those little boogers. I probably need to go through and do another batch of them, because I'm down to probably just a handful of them anymore. I had like 30 something at one point and I know I've had to do a lot of custom color ones since so uh, let's see over there so I need to come down one on you and you can connect over there so I want to make a I cannot read today either I want to make a larger 6x6 with a 4x6 room uh, yeah, that would be kind of cool. I wish they had rubber rings, especially glow-in-the-dark rubber rings that were the proper size where you could do that. Buzz, leave her alone. Cats don't know what to really do right now either. I will say that. I know Marble's been looking for her buddy. She uh, she would normally go out and do a call for him when she wanted to play wherever he was hanging out and he'd pop out and then they would go off chasing each other and that was one thing that was good about Boomer he he knew how to play with whoever he was playing with differently because he would play with his older brother hard but when it came to Marble he would play with her but he knew how to back off he wouldn't go after her like he did Buzz so I think she's missing his his her little buddy more than Buzz is I don't think Buzz has kind of totally realized it yet because he does spend a lot more time upstairs than the rest of the house he he comes down and he goes out but you know when he goes out he just camps out sleeps out in the sun and then comes back in and wants to go back upstairs so but she's gotten used to playing with Boomer and Having daily chases, at least, you know, they would come running through through the back door chasing each other, and then she'd turn around and chase him back out the door. And I think she's she's the one that's really realized that, uh, where's my buddy, man? Because nobody else in the house will play with her. Don't know why. She's one of her older cats, though. She's running on 15 years old. But, I mean, she still acts sometimes like she's two. She climbs like she's two, that's for sure. It's kind of crazy the way she climbs, be, being as old as she is. I'm just checking messages again. I think we're figuring this out now. How to do expansions. And then eventually I do want to do a stainless steel one. Ooh, I bet it would look, uh, definitely wouldn't be cost effective to do it out of niobium or titanium, but it would be cool where you could, I could anodize it up in my own colors. The only thing I don't like about doing anodizing on titanium and, and niobium is you're limited on your colors. That's what does drive me a little nutty. Uh... I mean, they have quite a few colors, but you can't do, like, oranges. Uh, I think it's red. You can get close, but nothing like a, a full-on red. Uh, and oranges, I wish I could do oranges, because in my RC cars, I got titanium tie rods and stuff like that, and I've anodized them all up to the colors I want for racing with it and everything. Uh, I normally run yellow cars with orange stuff. Alright, let's see here, connect that. So 
there are a few limitations, but there are some kind of cool colors you can do. I will be showing that here at some point too. Uh, I don't know if I want to put it on a small project night or... I bet I know there's going to be a night where I want to show off some of the anodizing. I'm trying to get some... I got my scales in, so I, I got some scales that'll show off the anodizing a bit better. Oh, that's why I'm having a problem. So I'm trying to prepare on what I want to do to the scale so I can show it off a little bit more when I do do the anodizing to it. Alright, there we go. I just had an extra ring in the way. Yeah, I screwed up that first row somehow. When I'm coming over to it, I'm seeing where I'm screwing up, but I didn't notice it when I was coming down that line. I hope you're having a good night, John. I hope you had a good weekend. I've seen some of your posts over there on the chainmail pages. Some of the things you've been doing. I liked all the comments everybody had when you were looking for skulls. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I haven't noticed if you I haven't at least gotten any notifications that you've been doing any live streaming, so hopefully I haven't missed any. I try to watch them when I can, but normally yours are kind of late compared to when I'm used to them, and, but I can watch them later, especially when I get a notification that you had live streamed. But who knows with Facebook, it's like half the time you get notifications, half the time you don't. I get the notification on my phone that I live streamed like two hours after I'm done doing my live stream. I'm like, that's real helpful there, guys. Hope nobody else is getting them that late. I could understand that. Thirty-five minutes into it, yeah. yeah. I don't know why it just seems to do weird things on occasion. And uh, where am I at here? All right, yeah. Uh, and I think it was uh, last Friday, maybe. Uh, I got notification for uh, Josh's at Brecken Mail's uh, like at midnight, like six hours after his is already over with. I'm like, uh, that's helpful. And we'll go ahead and pull this guy out too. It's like the more they keep trying to do stuff over at Facebook, it seems like the more they screw up stuff. I don't know what it is. for now it'll let me see it better when I get back over there to it and try to figure out why I screwed that up it's kind of why I'm leaving it so like I said I learn more from my screw ups than doing it properly getting things right the first time so like, oh, I'll learn more by leaving it there and give me a minute to come back to it and why did I do it this way and streaming. My end drops after an hour of hitting, but keep streaming. What are you using as, for your streaming software? Are you using the OBS or... There's a few others out there, but I kind of, once I started learning this one, I was like, well, I might as well just stick with it. I keep changing up uh, 
software is just a re relearning process again and it has some good features there's some things I'd still like to know how uh, Sean does his there's a few things on Sean's that I like that I would like to figure out how to do streaming drops to black Uh, yeah, I forgot what was mine was doing when it was, yeah, I don't remember if that was, no, that was after I'd already started for a while. I know there was some kind of weird issue I was having, uh, but I figured out part of my issues and, because uh, I was using, uh, Restreamer, I think was one of those, I was trying to use, try to several different of those, uh, Restreaming sites that'll you can stream to one and it automatic or stream to it and it'll automatically stream to multiple sites for you and that those were just whew. there was one that was working okay I can't remember if it was Restreamer or the uh, other main one that I'd heard of uh, but it wouldn't stream to my business page on Facebook it would only stream to my personal page and I was like well I don't want that. And then I found a plugin for OBS that basically I could stream to as many as I want with the plugin on there. You just got to start up each one individually, but not that big of a deal. It hadn't been a, a killer for me yet. I mean, I'm only streaming to the three. I don't need a ton. But I have a couple others I set up in there where I can uh, stream to my uh, personal page. And I can just click it, so, you know, it'll just stream to my personal page and not to anywhere else, so. Kind of made it nicer. That's what I set up another scene for, so if I'm just doing personal streams, uh, I won't have it going out to everywhere else and all that, so. But, because I definitely have noticed that it streams differently through personal web pages on Facebook than if you go through a business page. Each each one of them just acts a little bit differently and I, it's kind of weird. I don't know exactly why. Uh, I'm sure it's something that they've set up because now on the business pages of Facebook you go through a separate portal and stuff now and I'm not digging it. It's probably more just getting used to it than anything else because uh, it's about like everything else on Facebook. I hated the new arrangement when they first started it and it made everybody switch over to it. And it's like, oh, this is going to drive me batty. And then I eventually figured it out. And it's like, yeah, okay, it's not too bad. It just took a little while of getting used to. There's still some aspects of it I don't like. But man, the dogs are going cuckoo out there, man. I don't know what their deal is today. You know, there have been a lot of people coming through. I mean, we live on a dead-end street, so you don't get a lot of drive throughs but there's a couple houses for sale on the street here recently, so I have a lot more traffic lately. It makes the dogs go cuckoo. I guess it's a seller's market out there right now. Like, do you want to sell? No. I bought my first house. It's not big. I'm happy with it. I don't know why I would ever need anything bigger. So when I bought it, it was like, you know, this is where I'm buying a house and this is where I'll be dying at. And I probably, well, what was I? Uh, 35 ish, I guess, when we bought our house. So I was getting a little older. And some people, I mean, my daughter and her husband, they they definitely bought their first house a lot younger than I was, so that's good for them, though. I mean, sometimes I wonder if it's actually worth it buying a house anymore, but I'm glad we did. I mean, I like having the walkout basement here. I can do things in and out quicker and easier. I just wish I, you know, it's a converted basement in a garage kind of been all converted over to not necessarily living space but you know drywall and 
We did rip up the carpet. I want to eventually rip up the carpet out of this room uh, and get it an enamel epoxied uh, floor done like we did over in the other half of the basement. But that'll be a chore and I'll definitely have to have a uh, bigger garage built outside to handle everything during that transition period. I mean, it's not too long. Uh, I started having inner ear issues when we were trying to do the other half of the basement, so that took everything a little bit longer to do because uh, of having that. I've been having, I've got basically rocks loose in my head. <laughs> At least that's what I always call it. Deep down in the ear canal on my left side, I've got uh, loose rocks that get a little kooky on occasion. Uh, Alright, yeah, that's where I need to go. One, two, three, four. So I still need. Oh, I'm gonna have to go get the cats real quick. That's all. <laughs> you too. Bugs. All right, I had to separate them. <laughs> he wants to play hard like he used to with Boomer, and she doesn't want to play hard. Alright John, thanks for dropping in. In the process of redoing your dining room ceiling. Well thanks for dropping in. Hopefully your ceiling goes better than <laughs> what it took to our, do our other half of the basement. But Alright, where's that? minutes we'll do another 10 minutes or so probably will close up after an hour tonight just so I can rest my brain like I said it was been a stressful couple days here I just didn't want to prolong putting off the stream for too long so if that's there that's there I need to do one through there and then we'll continue I don't know if you happen to watch it later, John. I don't know if I caught you before you left or not. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, my eyes are having a hard time reading anything from far away today. I don't know why. I have to double check everything that I'm doing, it seems like. And then through there, yeah. Just one of those days. But I'm kind of glad to have put back and done the stream today. I mean, I was I was considering not doing it again, but I was like, yeah. it'll put everything off. I already had to postpone one day last week, and I don't want to do that. I'm trying to get stick to days and not have it screw anything up. Uh... So then, that one can go through there. Will that be that one? No. Yeah, I just need to come through and put those in, and then those. Oh, I better check my other ones too. Oop, my YouTube chat is hidden behind. I don't see nothing on Stitch and Twitch. <laughs> oh. But at least I did finally figure out the YouTube thing. I gotta make sure I go to it just like I do on the Twitch I wouldn't have to go to. Uh, and it seems like it still just streams daily, no problems. The YouTube I've noticed I had to go there and, and edit every day if I wanted to save. It would seem to show the stream live but it wouldn't save the stream for later viewing and I was like why is it doing that and I think I finally figured that out so that's a good thing so then I go through the three okay 
That's what I was doing wrong on that first end, I think. I wasn't going through the three on the edges. I was just kind of... Because I need to kind of come up through, through that one and back up. And I was only doing it two on that first, first group I was doing, the first line. I knew there was something I was doing that was messed up there. And then I'd come through two there. I was going through two on every one of them. It should have been two, three, two, three, two, three, I believe. That was the issue. See, learning something every time I do this stuff. Uh, okay, yeah. It's like, did I just screw up again? How did I do that screw up? No. Just my eyeballs playing tricks on me. Like I said, my... I don't know why. I Well, I'm sure it's probably just because I've been upset and everything with the cat issue that my eyes just don't want to focus like they should. I haven't really been doing a lot. I actually ended up watching a couple movies the last couple days just to try to... Well, and last night I really didn't do much. I just uh, watched some old TV shows and try to let my brain, you know, deal with everything. And this will put the end on this side. Definitely taking longer than I was expecting to do the expanding on this side, but again, that's just all kind of getting used to uh, everything. Because I've gotten so used to just doing 5x5, five five, going straight up, not having to go sideways and up. <laughs> Did you just knock over the trash can, Marvel? Yeah, I can hear her licking on my plate. Uh, what did I do wrong there? Yeah, that wasn't where I needed to put that one. Oh, I forgot to turn off the heater, too. I actually had to kind of turn back on the space heater down here last few nights because it's gotten pretty cool at night. We've been getting down to like 42 and stuff and it's like, wow, kind of crazy for May. <laughs> I mean, I'd rather it be cooler, but yeah, let's get out of the trash can. Stupid cat. I love my stupid cats, though. That one goes there. I'm gonna go ahead and put him on there. Hopefully my head's not coming into view here, guys. Sorry if it is. I just... Everything just seems to need to be a little closer today. For me to recognize what I'm doing. And that's there. That's there. That's what I was doing. I just put, didn't put in the extra ring that time. I did that during the normal 5x5 five five style, though, too. So, that should take us up to 6 on this side. Now, and then that one needs the one coming down, which will be, I need this one to go through those, right? And sideways there, so. That's how that whole row is just, I I just had that issue with the, the one, uh, yeah, because this one's, how did that, okay, it's still only got three. I was like, how did I get five through there? Now if I can just find the edge. So that's one thing about bright aluminum, silver, whatever you want to call it. Definitely harder to find the closures. Uh, compared to having a colored ring where you can, uh, depending, there are some rings you get that you can close up nice and it's hard to see between the colors, but I've also had some rings that were just uh, a pain in the butt when it comes to that. Alright, so this will come, that's a sideways, that one's that way, 
So this one should be this one. And through that one. There we go. I think that's what the problem was. We'll see here. That's the upper holds that one. Yeah, we're good there. That was part of the issue. So, we've got that whole side done. Still didn't, though, add any to that because we need to double it. So, let's go ahead and start doubling this side up. We'll put that out to the side for now. So that is the outside, so now we got to come back into the inside ones. Yeah, just put it through. Oh, come on. And that'll give the expansion on the bottom side to that side, and then we'll work on that one because now we're one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, so yeah. This is actually the one I want to work on. Five, six. Yeah. Get that row. It's just that first row I had just weirdness. And this one should fix it back up. And that'll put us put us back to normal even Stevens, right? Yeah, I'll go through all those. And we'll finish up this row here and see where we're at. Just over an hour. Any loose time this week, I'll probably will spend it on doing more Jelly Cube time. Uh, just so I can kind of get them wrapped up, per se. Once I get the big inlay going. and I need to plan out a few small projects and have them ready to go so I don't have to spend time looking for them every week. <laughs> I mean, I've got several, like I said, but I want to do a specific ring size. Uh, to use up some of the colors that I got. I want to try some new colors, so I need to... I know I could do several weaves that I have done before that use that, but I want to try something new, but I need it to be more sp specific in ring size, so it kind of narrows down my choices. camera view again. I can tell I've moved. Very good spot there. Or that one. Right. Oh. And yeah, we'll go ahead and kind of finish off the this second row here and then we'll probably go ahead and close up for tonight at least the stream I will work some more on this tonight I'm sure just because like I said I've just kind of been vegging but I need to go let Buzz back in to make sure those two don't start fighting she wants to play but not with him he wants to play but not with her it's going to take a little getting used to everybody in the house, everything. I don't know what else. I mean, Marvel likes to follow me around in the yard, too, but Boomer was my outside guy. He loved it when I'd trim tree or uh, rake up leaves. Well, both him and Marvel loved raking leaves up. Boy, they'd just jump in that pile. They're like kids. Kids in a candy store, when it comes to raking leaves up, man, they just they love jumping in them. Bigger the pile, it seems the better they are. But I have to watch out and be careful because uh, 
I'll get a big old pile going and next thing you know they're in the middle of it at the bottom so you don't even know they're there I went walking through one one day and kicked <laughs> kicked them because they were both under the pile on each opposite side they were just chasing each other under the pile of leaves it was crazy Uh, I'll go ahead and kind of do my closing spiel, I guess. Thank you all for joining. If you're watching now or later, I'm not sure if I have any live viewers anywhere. I haven't really looked all that much at it today. Just been checking for messages. So. I thank you all for joining in and seeing what's going on. Hopefully it's entertaining enough to come back. I probably need to start making more announcements that, yeah, there will be a live stream coming tonight earlier in the day so people can schedule since the thing doesn't always tell you when a stream is happening. But I do thank everybody for joining in any of these streams that I've done. And, you know, if you ever have any comments, ideas, thoughts, drop them in. And now we're a little more rectangly. So I can get this side done. It's gonna be this side, this side, and this side. So, and this one's pretty much its level. I just need to work it down. That's where we're at now. I'll just have to come back and add to that side. It's starting to become more of a jelly tower. <laughs> How about a jelly pyramid? I wonder if that would work. No, it'd probably get too loose there in that center trying to come up. I don't know. The larger you get, the better it might work. Might have to give that a try at some point. But anyway, thank you all for joining us. Uh, we will be back tomorrow night for a small project night. Try to get back into the normal flow of things. Uh, unless something crazy happens again, which I'm hoping nothing else crazy happens this week. But thank you all, and uh, join us tomorrow night. Don't know what I'm going to do yet. But we will be doing something small project, and hopefully get it done within the time allowed. So y'all have a great Tuesday night and we'll see you tomorrow on Wednesday. See ya.